Hi everyone, I'm currently at Nairobi airport and today we're flying to Cairo. I'm just about to go to my gate. Hopefully my flight's boarding soon. It's going to be like about a five hour, five and a half hour flight. My name's Tina and I'm currently traveling around the world. In the last four months I have been to about 14 countries. I always thought that a trip around the world would cost way too much money until a friend told me otherwise. And this little conversation completely changed my life. So finally boarding. We were waiting quite a while for that to happen. In my last video I talked about safety as a solo female traveler as someone nearly got my phone when I was in Nairobi. Traveling through Africa has been the hardest challenge for me so far. Egypt Airways is the first airline that I'm taking that starts with the seat in the back of the plane. That's incredible. I slept a little bit, but not too much, so at the moment I'm going to get to my Airbnb, I'm going to sleep a little bit more. The landscape is always massively different when I come to a new uh, location. The safest and easiest way to get to your accommodation is to book a taxi or an Uber driver in advance. So even if the airport that you're landing at has no Wi-Fi whatsoever, which happens, you have your ride already prepared. I would never recommend you to take a taxi at the airport. Some of them are more expensive and some of them might even try to scam you. Got out of the plane, my driver's already waiting for me. Now I just need to find Edward. I think I already can see maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, that's him. That's flight number 18, I'm counting now. When I know that I'm going to have Wi-Fi at an airport, I'm just going to call an Uber myself. Thank you, nice to meet you. In other cases, I pre-book a ride, for example, on Booking.com. They are slightly more expensive, but often very comfortable and reliable. And I have to admit here in Cairo, I was very lucky with my ride. My driver knew so much about Cairo that I got my first free city tour. I arrived at my Airbnb or guest house and yeah, look at this view. So hi guys, now I was able to check in. Let me show you quickly my room. My ride to this place was incredible. Like the driver was showing me like right and left everything that he knew and he knew a lot. <laughs> Here we got the room. I've got two beds. I'm not sure why I have two beds. Hey, so it's still my first day and I was invited to dinner. I'm just waiting for the owner and... But look, look at this rooftop here. The host of the Airbnb that I was staying at was also very welcoming and on my first day he invited me for dinner. Already on my first day I got to experience my first Egyptian meal, which is pretty amazing. Hey guys, good morning. So today we are going on a day trip from Cairo to Alexandria. Today and tomorrow I'm going to join a tour that was organized by the place I'm staying at, Jana Pyramids Inn View. Pyramids View Inn. <laughs> After getting settled in, I talked to my host about a potential tour to the Pyramids of Giza. He also invited me to a tour to Alexandria. I didn't really know much about Alexandria, but I thought it's an amazing opportunity to see a different side of Egypt. So we're coming closer. We're basically there. It's like a two and a half hour ride by car from Cairo. Alexandria is the second largest city in Egypt and it lies on the Mediterranean coast. It has the oldest tram system in Africa, which is why our driver is showing us here the tram. If you're coming for the first time to Africa, I would highly recommend you to get yourself a guide, book a tour, because it can be dangerous. If we just reached the catacombs here in Alexandria, they're one of the seven wonders of the Middle Ages or something like that. Let's see if I can even use my camera here. The security here in Egypt is something else. Every time you're entering a place, even if it's just a shopping mall, people will want to see your bag, your phone, and often you're not allowed to film the security stuff. This place was used as a burial chamber. It's one of the seven wonders of the Middle Ages. This tomb was discovered within the eastern necropolis of Alexandria. It was found by chance in 1952 during the digging of the foundations for a modern building. It presents the most convincing case for the active worship of Isis. Arriving at the catacombs, you might not expect too much, but just wait until we enter them. Oh god, that's so 
scary. <laughs> the catacombs of Alexandria are one of the seven wonders of the Middle Ages. They consist of tombs, statues and archaeological objects. Due to the time period, the catacombs merge Roman, Greek and Egyptian cultural points. They were used as a burial chamber from the 2nd to the 4th century. Now I really feel like I'm in Egypt. It's impressive how they built this. They used it as a, as a burial crown. And then they rediscovered it later because accidentally a donkey fell down this shaft. I think it's, I think this is here. Planning my trip around the world, coming to Egypt was on the top of my list. Because as a child, I was fascinated by the Egyptian culture. Walking through the catacombs also made you feel a little bit like Indiana Jones and as if you are on a tiny adventure yourself. By the way, those little yellow rides that you can see here are called tuk-tuk. They are cheaper than taxis, but probably also not as safe. We are now at our second destination, Pompeii's Pillar. I couldn't find much information about it really, um, but it's a place you want to see here in Alexandria. Pompeii's Pillar is one of the oldest and highest memorial columns in the world. It was built to commemorate the victory of Emperor Diocletian over an Alexandrian revolt. It might not look as impressive as for example the pyramids of Giza, however, if you really think about it, Pompeii's pillar as well as the catacombs, they have such a rich background and history. This is one of the oldest and highest memorial columns in the world. Here's a place that's called the sanctuary. I have absolutely no idea what we're going to find here. Le the small library. So here's a here's a small library. And here's a thing, I don't know what this is. <laughs> Coming to Pompeii's Pillar, again Alexandria surprised me in a very positive way. I was expecting to see Pompeii's Pillar. Instead, we found these catacombs here that again revealed new okay. secrets to us. Statue of a bull. Gosh! Again, this place is bigger than I thought. This is so dark. We are now inside the next room. Where the sign said small library. I don't see a library here. <laughs> There are no books with... Shit, it's dark. It was partly even getting a little bit dark and scary, but because I was not alone down there, it was totally fine. So far, Alexandria has been way more exciting than I thought it would be. We're currently on our way back to the car. The area we were driving through here in Alexandria is famous for having lots of shops that are selling car parts. So it's quite busy here. So our next stop is going to be the library. It's a new library. It was built in 2002. Not the, the old one that you think of. The next destination on our tour was the new library of Alexandria, which was built in 2002. Inside this impressive and modern building is a reading room that can accommodate about 2,500 people, 8 million books, 3 museums, a planetarium and various exhibitions. I'm a tour guide for the Jana Family Hotel. Today I had some tour. This is my sister from Germany uh, and also my brother from uh, Morocco. I spend a lot of time at university and I have seen a couple of libraries in my life, none of which was as impressive as the library here in Alexandria. Print machine. Ah, okay. print, yeah. Yeah, the first yeah. one. Ooh. The letters, yeah, the alphabet huh? letters. <laughs> this is the map of the port. Mm. It's an impressive library. It fits in about 2,500 people and 8 million books. Huge. Another place that surprised me was Stanley Bridge, the most famous bridge here in Alexandria. It was the first bridge in Egypt to be constructed into the sea, with a total length of 400 meters. It's incredibly noisy, but it's the most famous bridge here in Alexandria. It looks pretty. <laughs> At this point in our tour, we were all getting a little bit hungry, which is why we made a quick stop at the shop to get some fresh fish, which we would later be eating for dinner. Little update, we now come to the citadel, 
But that's our last stop, I think, for today before we're finally going to get some food. Again, I didn't find too many information, but um, yeah, let's check it out. Before getting our very late lunch slash dinner, we would be visiting another very impressive building here in Alexandria, the Citadel. The Citadel of Cate Bay, or also called the Fort of Cate Bay, is a 15th century defensive fortress located on the Mediterranean sea coast in Alexandria. It was built in only two years, which is quite impressive if you take a look at its size. When you're going to Alexandria, I would recommend you to either go with a friend who can take some photos of you or to spend some money on a photographer because at the time we went there, the light and the colors were <laughs> simply <laughs> perfect. Walking around in the citadel and exploring all of its surroundings can maybe take up one to two hours. We were quite a while there, but Best like this ever. view really made it worth it. If you still don't know if you should visit Alexandria or not, I hope that this place and especially the view will make it worth it for you too. So hey, that was an amazing day. That was our last stop, but we're also going to get some lunch. But it's already pretty late, so I don't know if we can call it lunch anymore. And that's, that's it for Alexandria, but I had an amazing day, like I really liked it. Can I recommend? After a long day of exploring Alexandria, we would okay, finally we get our late lunch. The long wait was definitely okay, worth it. Good. So if you're asking yourself if it is worth it to visit Alexandria, I would say definitely nice. yes. I had an amazing day. However, obviously it is also very important that you choose the right guide and the right tour for this. Isn't that the best view ever here for our, well, dinner, right? Dinner. Hi. So everyone say hi. 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 Welcome. Welcome Alexandria. <laughs> <laughs> Nice weather. Yeah, nice oh weather. yeah, yeah. If you have any questions about it, please leave them in the comment section and I'm going to post some more videos about my adventures here in Egypt. So stay tuned and I see you then in the next one.